Just what is religion? Well, religion can be defined in many ways, but I've never seen a definition that is fully adequate, and it's very challenging to find one that is even close to adequate. So what I want to do is instead talk about three characteristics that all religions have. And one of those characteristics is that religion identifies the problem. So all of us recognize that there is a problem with the world. It just doesn't work the way it should. And so we uh, recognize this, and what religion does is it tells us what the problem is. So, for example, in Buddhism, the problem is suffering caused by desire. In Islam, the problem is uh, not following the law of God. In Christianity, the problem is sin. And so as a a result of the problem, what religions do is they provide the solution. And so, for example, in Buddhism, the solution is going to be a kind of recognition, an acknowledgement of the truth that you aren't an individual, but all is one. For Islam, the, the solution is going to be the law as provided by the prophet of God, Muhammad. For Christianity, the solution is going to be in a person, Jesus Christ. And then what religions do is they ask us to make a response. The solution requires a response of us. So for Buddhism, the response is going to be something like to meditate, to recognize the truth. For Islam, the response is going to be following God's law. For Christianity, the response is going to be putting your trust in Christ to forgive your sins, for him to forgive your sins. So these are characteristics that all religions have. One reason that this does not provide a good definition of religion is because other things might have these three characteristics as well. For example, communism would have all three of these characteristics. But in any case, all religions have an answer to these three things. They tell you what the problem is, identify a solution, and then give direction on how you should respond to that solution.